In the quest for air superiority, governments all over the world are constantly exploring new ways to increase the performance. Part of this performance deals with the aircraft's ability to take off and land. For decades, fighter jets have used runways like any other plane to land or take off. However, as military science evolved, we were able to develop the technology necessary to allow certain aircraft to take off or land from a vertical position. Not only does this new ability allow the aircraft to be more flexible in where it can be deployed, it gives the jets a unique boost in aerial maneuverability, a significant advantage for any aircraft in combat. Now that the technology is being deployed more and more, we are able to bear witness to some truly spectacular displays. From the F-35B Lightning to the AV-8B Harrier, here are five of the most amazing vertical takeoffs and landings. One of the most powerful weapons in the arsenal of the United States Air Force is the Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II. This single-seat, single-engine fighter is a multi-role aircraft, serving a number of different functions from strike missions to air-to-air -to -air combat. It entered service with the United States Marine Corps in July of 2015 and is projected to be a major part of the military's arsenal until 2070. Along with its high-tech stealth abilities, the F-35B Lightning II is known for being one of the fastest and most agile fighter jets ever created. Part of its agility is found in its design. Along with its typical abilities to take off and land normally, it is also a STOVL aircraft. This stands for Short Takeoff and Vertical Landing. Equipped with what is known as the Rolls-Royce Lift System, the F-35B can take off and land vertically onto and from a variety of ships. In this video, taken on October 3rd, 2011, we see the testing done during the F-35's development. Landing on the amphibious assault ship, the USS Wasp, the pilot shows an incredible level of precision. Utilizing the Rolls-Royce lift system, the jet is not only able to come in on a normal trajectory, it displays an ability to hover sideways before descending to land. With this technology, this deadly stealth fighter can be deployed at a moment's notice, able to take off and land from a number of amphibious ships. Unlike many aircraft before it, it will not be restricted to aircraft carriers or airfields. One of the most famous vertical takeoff jets in history is the British Harrier. Developed in the early 70s, the first-generation Harriers came into service with the Royal Air Force and United States Marine Corps. While amazingly agile, they did not have the ability to carry much of a payload, nor did they have very good range. The initial problems with the first models led to many improvements to be made over a number of years. However, what the Harrier was mainly known for was its vertical takeoff, hover, and landing capabilities. On August 17, 2017, an AV-8B Harrier II, assigned to the Tomcats of Marine Attack Squadron 311, performed a vertical short takeoff and land from the flight deck of the amphibious assault ship USS Bonhomme Richard. While the video as a whole is incredible to watch, one of the most amazing things seen is the speed at which the Harrier II takes off. This wasn't a gradual liftoff by any means. Within two seconds of hearing the engines increase their power, it is in the air. Once airborne, its maneuverability becomes immediately evident. With such capabilities, it is clear why the Harrier II was purposed for air-to-ground attacks. It had an ability to get around incredibly easily. Additionally, with the use of its hover and vertical takeoff and landing, it could deal serious damage to any enemy positions on the ground. In terms of STOVL aircraft, the AV-8B Harrier II was a modern pioneer. But let's take a look back in history at an earlier variation of a VTOL aircraft. 
In the early days of vertical takeoff and landing, many experimental aircraft were being tested not only by the Air Force, but by NASA as well. During the 1950s, one of these aircraft was the Bell X-14. This experimental aircraft was built with the main objective being to demonstrate vectored thrust, horizontal and vertical takeoff, hover, transition to forward flight, and vertical landing. While it was never meant to be used in any combat situation, the tests that were performed gave engineers a vast wealth of information that would eventually be used for the development of future aircraft. In this video, we are able to take a look at one such test done in the 1950s. It shows the various ways that the X-14 can perform. Even for this period, the aircraft was incredibly nimble and maneuverable, flying sideways, backwards, and even hovering. Also documented in this video is how quickly the X-14 can go from full speed to hover, as well as from hover to full speed. In one part, we can see the aircraft take off and fly forward, working to build speed. In actuality, the time it took to build speed was very slow. However, engineers were able to analyze data such as this in order to improve upon the technology later on. These test planes continued to be used until 1981. After being decommissioned, talks started circulating that other models would be developed. However, no plans ever saw the light of day. During its years of service, the X-14 was flown by over 25 pilots. Back to the F-35B Lightning II, this clip takes us to the amphibious assault ship USS America. On August 28, 2016, somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, more flight tests were being done. On this specific day, the Marine Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron were conducting operational tests, which was the third phase of developmental testing for the F-35B. These tests were meant to evaluate the full spectrum of Joint Strike Fighter measures of sustainability and effectiveness in an at-sea environment. With a Lightning being such a versatile aircraft, it had to undergo many more tests than was normal. It was especially crucial when it came to being at sea, where so many variables can come into play. This video is just one example of such tests done in an at-sea environment. Once again, we find ourselves talking about the agile F-35B Lightning II. It stands to reason that this aircraft is covered because it is arguably one of the most lethal aircraft in the world, and is forecast to be for the foreseeable future. It was built with the purpose of being able to handle any type of combat situation. As such, it was made to be the most maneuverable and mobile aircraft ever invented. In this video, taken on February 3rd, 2017, we see the F-35B Lightning II with Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 121 conducting training flights at Marine Corps Air Station in Iwakuni, Japan. It had spent most of that day conducting maneuverability drills, including takeoff and landings. These are routine tests for these aircraft as they are designed to be able to toggle between three different types of takeoffs and landings. Here, at the end of its day of testing, the Lightning II shows how it can come in from a straight line and slow down with precision before landing. Take notice of the rear of the aircraft after it lands and how the engine is able to angle, going from a downward position to a horizontal position for taxiing to its destination. The F-35B Lightning II is going to remain the most lethal force in the skies for many years to come. The technology it carries far exceeds other fighter jets, and even now, improvements are still being made. There is no doubt that vertical takeoff and landing is an incredibly crucial technology for modern militaries and their aircraft. Among many other things, it allows for faster response time when the call goes out to be deployed. 
Mixed with the ability to take off from a vast number of amphibious ships, the vertical lift technology may just be the deciding factor between what solidifies air superiority in the world. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to click the link on screen to check out our video on five pilots who ejected at the last second. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.